hello guys you're welcome once again to this tutorial um i did promise to show us how we could actually make some money using tensor art all right so today i'm going to be showing us but without wasting time let's continue you know tensor art is back in this ecosystem of stable diffusion and Yuan dit of course i did explain in my former video you could go watch it you could see it up here or you could find it in the description box below like i promised i am going to be showing you how to use tensor art to train your SD3 and how you want DIT model and in this process you could actually make some money in terms of art all right before I continue I must make you understand that you'll be required to have some images all right so this happened to be the images I was able to generate so I'm just going to scroll through um, it's more or less like creating um, a consistent image of different poses and styles with different mood all right so this happened to be what I created it may not be entirely perfect Perfect, but this is what I shall be using here today. So in order to continue, let's head on to Tensor Art. And so when you get here to Tensor Art, all you need to do is to click online training. And then you're going to have a pop-up here. And this is where you're going to be uploading your image. Click this and then upload all these images. All right. As you can see, the images are uploaded here. And then the next thing to do would be to click on this SD3. All right. And you can also click here and choose um, whichever mode that you want so we are choosing the exit tree here and then we are going to be um, describing or defining most of these terminologies here the repeat refers to the number of times the AI learns from each individual images an epoch refers to a complete circle of the AI learning from your images after the AI has processed all the images from the specified number of repeats that constitutes an epoch I'm just going to click on this you could just leave it the way it is and that that's fine and here yeah, they happen to be the trigger words this refers to the words or phrases used in text analysis natural languages processing or machine learning to initiate a particular action or response so that's what this trigger word simply means and here we have the model effect review prompt as we all know of prompt are used to generate um preview images for each saved version at the end of every epoch this allows you to see um the trigger progress of the model this parameter does not affect the training process or the quality of the model and let me let you know that it's only used for generating real-time preview images and that is what you have here these are part of the things we shall be defining we're still going to be defining a lot of things and when you come here and also when you come here to here you can see this image you're going to see batch cutting auto labeling batch add labels and set repeat time you talk about batch cutting this particular features helps you crop all your uploaded images to the same size for instance if your images are not of the same size this batch cutting here make them all equal by just selecting one of these auto labeling that you tag all uploaded images you can click on any image to see its tag and then you have 15 images here so you could just click on any image and then you will find out the tag and then you have batch add label this is is added at the beginning or end of each tag list typically it's better to add them at the beginning all right so you could just click this and then you could just impute content add end of line add to beginning of line so it's usually best to add to beginning of line and then you have set repeat time then if you come here you would realize that and the repeated time set here is 20 let's put it in 20 and this is actually enough so we could just keep this and this is where we set that you must understand that in tensile art online training you can adjust the number of time individual images are repeated and you could actually do it here so having explained that the next step we are going to be heading to is to explain the professional mode of course we've been dealing with the basic mode which happens to be for every beginner to learn so we shall be diving into the professional mode which happened to be this and as you all know it's the same for all that we've discussed in the basic mode in exception to some of the things i shall be defining here today and so coming to the professional mode here all you need to do is to leave the parameters here this way they are and of course they are going to give you an amazing result and then all you will need to do is to click start training now 
Yes, yeah, so guys, um, as you can see, uh, the model is done generating. You have Epoch 1, Epoch 2, Epoch 3, and till you have up to Epoch 10. So, whichever one you think is cool here, you could just do what? You have to check out which one you think is okay here. For me, I'm going to, I'm going to choose this. I think I like this. So, I want to publish this, so I will have to just click on Publish. And then you must make sure to create a new project. And then just follow suit project name i could just name it hunter kid then i could just put it in a name yeah so i'm just going to target ta cartoon comic as well real cartoon you could just add some tags uh, then 2d I could also add 3D as well, 3D, and okay, that's enough. And then the next thing would be to what? Click on create. So all you have to do is to wait while this is going on. Yeah, and then you will just have to leave everything like this. The properties, you just have to leave it like this. And then, and all you have to do after scrolling down is to click on publish. Thank you. Publish. Model published successfully. You can edit information such as the project description, license, and more. Alright, so it's left for you to do that. Whenever you want to do that, you could just click on later or start editing immediately. So I'm going to click on later and then it's done. So as you can see, so you have been able to create your model here. As you can see, version details you know this was when it was uploaded you have the base model sd 1.5 and then epoch 8 so you could just let's check this so this is one two three and four so just as you can see this is your model kunta kids all right so and as you can see here you'd realize that it has project permissions which has um use without crediting me but mind you some people would also decide to credit you as well and also you have share merge of this model use different permissions on merges sell generated image use on generation service sell this model or merges now just like you see in some image websites whereby this website sell their images this is also how somebody can just come here use your model and credit you some amount of dollars and in doing this you start earning dollars in tensile arts i hope this was helpful thank you for watching and then hope to see you on my next video remember that this is in serious i'm going to be opening more things up for you to properly understand this bye bye for now and see you on my next video